ブレイブルークロスタッグバトル Hey, it's Thor War with a Luke Gaming, and today we have the trial version of Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Let me start off by saying how impressed and surprised I was at this that there is so much available in this demo. There is a hefty selection of characters to choose from, and if you didn't know, they come from four core series of properties Blaze Blue, Persona 4 Arena, Under Night in Birth, and Ruby. A lot of these series I didn't know about, and because of how great this game is, I'll be checking them out. This game really came into light with its strange DLC practices, and I'm not going to get into all of that or tell you how to spend your money. I'll only speak on my perspective. This game is pretty damn cool and addicting. I played it on the Switch, and the majority of my weekend went into this. It's fun, it's beautiful, and the soundtrack is phenomenal. The package as a whole, as of right now, is pretty fantastic. Every character, for the most part, all look and play unique, and you can tell who will be top tier right off the bat. Walking in and knowing nothing and just experimenting has been a blast. Some of my favorite characters so far have been Ruby, Hyde, Hazuma, Lynn, number 13, and Noel. And I'm still learning more. And I love Ruby, she's definitely my favorite. The core gameplay is your typical 2 vs 2 that was popularized by the Marvel vs Capcom series. But this comes from the folks that brought us Dragon Ball Fighter Z and Guilty Gear x a r Revelator. Interestingly, I found this game more comparable to Tatsunoku vs. Capcom from Wii in terms of button layout and how much fun it is. Tatsunoku is my favorite fighting game of all time. I've never found a fighting game that has been as fun as that one until now. I'm sorry, but would you mind staying down just for a little while? No matter who I have to face, I will not lose! <laughs> They dare to hinder the path of the knight! Dragon Ball Fighter Z is a great fighting game made from one of my favorite animes of all time, but mechanically there are too many exploits that people take advantage of online and it ruins the experience. I'm not saying this game doesn't have that, just that I haven't encountered it yet, and I'm not sure how much longer the demo will be available, but I do recommend checking it out, especially on Switch. That's another surprising thing I found with the Switch version. The online runs surprisingly well, much better than I expected. I didn't have time to check out the Finnish 4 version. To see how it compares, but overall, the Switch version runs fantastic online. The only hiccups or weird encounters I had was when the match loads up at times, there's a slowdown as character introduction to play, and once the narr narrator announces the fight to start, it's silky smooth from there. Out of the maybe 60 matches I played on handheld mode and television, I only encountered two connection fails and one lag where nobody moves for several seconds. But then it picked right back up. I'll be curious to see how it all does when it launches. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle brings a chaos to it that many games shoehorn in, but here it's natural. The mechanics are easy to understand, combos are easily executed, but as you play, you learn that there's a deeper system available, and very encouraging. It's time to finish this. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! 
So what do you think? Plan on picking up Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle when it launches this summer, or are you skipping it? What fighting games are you playing? Also, what are some other franchises you'd like to see repped in this game? Personally, I'd like to see some more Guilty Gear characters, like Eno, Ava, Python. I think mechanically they could do some pretty interesting things with them in this game. You better stay down, or you won't get up again. Ragna, Ruby, win. And remember to follow the Loot Gaming for all your gaming news and reviews. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Fight! 